Welcome to the Your Business Car Guy Fractal Corel Draw Tips. Today we're going to be looking at creating a cutout look. So here's a business card that we designed for a salon and spa and you'll notice that within the design here, move this guideline out of the way, uh, we have a field of red and within it is this oval and it has a bit of a cutout look. You'll notice there's a shadow effect here so it looks as though the card has been cut and we can see into it and obviously in this case within the card uh, sits the logo and so it has a little bit of a 3D effect not just a, a shadow effect of something hovering over the card but we've cut into the card as it were uh, and so I want to show you how that's done. So using our blank canvas we first need to create our field and obviously in the case of a business card it might be the exact size of a card uh, that you're using or whatever. I'm just going to pick something here, make it orange, and uh, keep it uh, simple. I am now going to draw an ellipse, uh, an oval. You can obviously make it a circle, a square, whatever. You can even do this with text. You know, uh, depends on what you need to do. Uh, in this case, I'm going to fill it with white so that it's easy to see. And I'm going to remove the border on this guy. Uh, and this is a, a little tip here. Uh, you'll notice that this background layer has the border still on it. Uh, if I cut this out, the, the area will also have a border. So if, if that's an effect you don't want, you want to remove the background from that as well. So what I'm going to do is select the oval. I'm going to hold the shift key down and select my background. And now my bar switches up here to allow for um, a variety of options. Uh, some of these are like welding, which turns two objects together. Uh, we've looked at some of these, um, but today what we're going to do is try uh, and show you how you can use this to actually cut through uh, another curve, another object, uh, and then you, you can then manipulate it as you need to. Okay, so I've got them selected. I'm now going to go up here and I'm going to choose the back minus the front and it kind of flickered but it didn't seem as though that much happened but if you'll notice over here in the object manager uh, we have only one curve now and if I grab this and move it I can you know make sure it's not just grouped together uh, this is in fact now one object with nothing here and I'll show you we can prove that I'm gonna put this underneath and I'll make it a color so you can see that this is actually a hole inside of this what used to be a, a complete uh, rectangle. Uh, so now what I can do is give this a drop shadow effect. I'm going to make this uh, again quick and easy. Um, slide this over here and so very quickly I now have the effect of having a hole cut through and a drop shadow thrown in there and again anything you kind of put in here will look as though it's sitting inside um, and looks nice and cut out. It's a very nice effect. Uh, it's something a little different. Uh, and let me take a look at the other example so you can see. And uh, you know, it just gives a nice, elegant, uh, and again, slightly different effect. If you're, you know, attempting to do something that's a little more striking, this might just be, you know, a pretty good effect for you. Uh, when I've done it with text, uh, you got to be a little bit careful with the drop shadow because it can be a little overwhelming, because the text is next to it, you know, it's very close, and so even though it's cut out, the shadow of the letter next to it has a tendency to kind of be seen for a letter or two over, and so sometimes it can look a little bit messy. But if you're doing like a single letter or something you're trying to create, just a striking an image or a graphic, I, you know, so a monogram, for example, on the back of the card, you just want the initials or something like that, I think this could be uh, quite an amazing effect that you can use. Thanks again for watching the Your Business Card Guy Corel Draw Tips video. If you have any business card or print and design needs, check us out online, www.yourbusinesscardguy.com. We'll see you next time.